Are you ready to dive into the world of ancient Spartan warriors and discover the 10 practices that made them formidable? Stay till the end to find out. What does it take to be a Spartan warrior? It's not just about strength or courage, but about discipline and resilience. Are you disciplined and resilient enough in your everyday life? In the of ancient Greece, a unique society thrived, known for their unyielding warrior culture, the Spartans. Their name has become synonymous with fearlessness, discipline, and resilience, yet their legacy extends beyond their prowess in battle. The underpinning philosophy of their lifestyle, Stoicism, has endured through the ages, offering timeless lessons applicable to our modern lives. Spartan way of life was not built on brute force alone. It was a comprehensive system that cultivated discipline, fostered community, and a deep sense of duty and honor. Each Spartan was more than a warrior. They were the embodiment of resilience, ready to face any challenge with unwavering determination. So let's delve into the world of Spartans, exploring their practices, their philosophy, their legacy, and draw parallels with our present day lives. To a Spartan, comfort was the enemy. They deliberately sought out discomfort to fortify their resilience. The Spartan society was built on the principle of resilience, the ability to withstand and thrive in the face of adversity. Comfort to them was a threat to this resilience. It was a sign of complacency, of a softening of the body and mind and a potential weakening of their collective strength. This was not a mere societal expectation, but rather a deeply ingrained philosophy that permeated every aspect of their lives. The Spartans believed in the Stoic philosophy long before it was formalized. They practiced it daily, and one of its key tenets was the deliberate embrace of discomfort. This was not about seeking pain for the sake of it, but rather about voluntarily stepping out of one's comfort zone to build mental and physical fortitude. In the Spartan agoge, the rigorous education and training program for their youth, boys were taught to endure hardship and were often exposed to harsh conditions. This practice was not about cruelty, but about preparing them for the realities of life and war. It was about teaching them that discomfort was not something to be feared, but something to be faced head on and overcome. Fast forward to the present day and we find that this ancient Spartan practice is more relevant than ever. In our comfort-driven society, we often shy away from discomfort. We seek convenience, instant gratification, and the path of least resistance. But in doing so, we rob ourselves of opportunities for growth and resilience. It's not about going out and looking for hardship, but it's about not running away from it when it comes. It's about pushing your limits, stepping out of your comfort zone, and challenging yourself. It's about learning to see discomfort not as a threat, but as a tool for growth. By embracing discomfort, we can build resilience, develop grit, and learn to handle whatever life throws our way. We become stronger, not despite the discomfort, but because of it. Embracing discomfort, then, is not about suffering, but about growth. The Spartan warriors were masters of self-control. Their lives were defined by a relentless pursuit of self-mastery, a principle deeply rooted in the Stoic philosophy they embodied. This wasn't merely about physical prowess or military might. Rather, it was a holistic approach encompassing mind, body, and spirit. Imagine this. Spartan boys from the tender age of seven were trained to suppress their emotions, endure pain, and overcome their fears, all in the name of self-discipline. They were taught that the greatest battlefield was not the rocky terrains of Messenia or the sandy shores of Thermopylae, but the mind itself. This principle of self-mastery, however, is not confined to the annals of Spartan history. It finds resonance even in our modern lives. Today, we face battles of a different kind, battles against procrastination, against unhealthy habits, against our own limiting beliefs. But what can we learn from the Spartans? Quite a lot, as it turns out. Just as the Spartans tamed their bodies and minds, we too can train ourselves to be disciplined, focused, and resilient. We can learn to control our reactions, to remain calm under pressure, to make decisions not based on impulse, but reason. In essence, we can learn to be the masters of our own selves, because after all, as the ancient Stoics believed, we cannot control the world around us, only how we respond to it. And that, my friends, is the power of self-mastery. Mastering oneself is the ultimate victory. Physical strength and endurance were crucial for every Spartan. From a tender age, Spartan children were subjected to intense physical training, a regimen designed not merely to build their bodies, 
but to forge their minds. This was the embodiment of the Stoic philosophy which held that one should have mastery over oneself in mind and body. The Spartan fitness regime was not a mere pastime, it was a rite of passage, a lifestyle. It involved grueling exercises, long marches and intense combat training. The overarching goal was to build resilience and discipline, to prepare the body for any physical challenge that might arise in battle and by extension in life. Now let's transport these ancient principles into our modern context. Today's fitness culture often emphasizes aesthetics over function, but the Spartan approach offers an alternative perspective. It suggests that fitness should be about more than just looking good. It should be about being strong, resilient, and prepared for any challenge life throws at us. This is not to say that we should all adopt the Spartans' brutal training regime. Rather, it's about embracing the philosophy behind it. It's about understanding that physical training is a means to an end, a tool to help us become better, stronger, more resilient individuals. So the next time you hit the gym or go for a run, remember the Spartans. Remember their commitment, their resilience, their discipline. Remember that physical training is not just about the body, but about the mind. The mind of a Spartan was as tough as their body. This was no mere coincidence, but a result of concentrated effort and relentless discipline. The Spartan warriors understood that mental toughness was as crucial on the battlefield as physical prowess. From this understanding sprouted their relentless focus on mental conditioning. This principle finds its roots in Stoic philosophy, which teaches us that while we cannot control external events, we can control our reactions to them. The Spartans applied this idea by training their minds to remain undeterred in the face of adversity, to be resilient amidst chaos, and to maintain composure during the harshest of trials. In the modern world, we may not be facing literal battles, but the metaphorical ones we confront are no less daunting. The pressures of life, work, relationships, and self-doubt can often feel like an onslaught. It is in these moments that the Spartan principle of mental toughness can serve as our armor. Mental toughness is the shield that protects us from life's arrows. Spartans lived a life of stark minimalism. Stripped down to the essentials, their existence was a testament to the Stoic philosophy. They believed that by reducing their wants, they were less likely to be controlled by material desires. Spartan homes were devoid of luxury, Spartan meals simple. By choosing to live with less, they mastered the art of sufficiency. This practice of Spartan minimalism echoes in the modern minimalist movement. Today, many are discovering the liberation that comes from detaching from material possessions, from decluttering not just our physical spaces, but our minds too. The pursuit of less is not about deprivation, but about eliminating the unnecessary to make room for what truly matters. It's a timeless lesson from the ancient Spartans. When we free ourselves from the shackles of excess, we're able to focus on our goals, on our personal growth, on the essence of who we are. In minimalism, we find freedom. Spartans valued community and camaraderie above all. This wasn't just a hollow sentiment, but a fundamental cornerstone of their society deeply embedded in their way of life. You see, Spartans understood that a community is more than a mere collection of individuals. It's a living, breathing organism that thrives on cooperation and mutual respect. From an early age, Spartan children were taught the importance of loyalty, respect, and teamwork. They trained, fought, and lived together, forming bonds that often lasted a lifetime. Their shared hardships, victories, and defeats created a powerful sense of unity, a camaraderie that transcended the personal and became a collective strength. The Stoics, too, championed the idea of community. They believed in the interconnectedness of all beings, the idea that we are all part of a larger whole, Stoicism teaches us that our actions, no matter how small, have the potential to affect the collective. This sense of responsibility towards the collective, this understanding of our role within the community, is as relevant today as it was in ancient Sparta. In our fast-paced, individualistic world, we often forget the power of community. We forget that we are not alone, that our strength lies in our connections with others. We forget that, like the Spartans, we are part of a larger whole. But remember, community isn't just about taking, it's about giving, about contributing to the collective, about ensuring the well-being of all its members. Because at the end of the day, community is the bedrock of our resilience. To a Spartan, duty and honor were not just words, but a way of life. 
These tenets were deeply ingrained in the fabric of their society. Duty for them was not a burden to bear, but a privilege to uphold, a sacred obligation to their state, their comrades, and their own personal virtue. Honor, on the other hand, was the golden thread that held together the fabric of Spartan society. It wasn't about personal glory or recognition. It was about respect, integrity, and a steadfast commitment to righteousness, even in the face of daunting adversity. These values find their roots in Stoic philosophy, which teaches us that our duty is to act in accordance with nature, and our honor lies in our character, not in external recognition. Today, in a world often driven by self-interest, these Spartan principles remain as relevant as ever. They remind us that our actions and choices define us. Duty and honor are the compass that guide us. Spartans were renowned for their incredible endurance. Indeed, their ability to endure was not only a physical feat, but also a testament to their mental and emotional resilience, deeply rooted in the stoic philosophy they embraced. The Spartans knew that life was a marathon, not a sprint, and they trained their minds and bodies to adapt to long-term challenges. They did not shy away from discomfort or hardship, but rather welcomed it as an opportunity to grow stronger. Endurance for the Spartans was not about merely surviving, but about thriving amidst adversity. The Stoic philosophers of ancient Greece taught that one's ability to endure was a measure of their virtue and strength of character. They believed that it was through enduring hardship that one could truly understand the value of peace and tranquility. In our modern world, the virtue of endurance is as relevant as ever. We face challenges and adversities of all kinds, and it is our ability to endure that allows us to overcome them. Whether it's pushing through a tough workout, staying resilient during a stressful period at work, or maintaining our composure in the face of personal struggles, endurance gives us the strength to persevere. The lessons of the Spartans and the Stoic philosophers remind us that endurance is not about avoiding discomfort, but about embracing it as a pathway to growth and self-improvement. It encourages us to lean into our challenges, to endure them with grace and fortitude, and to emerge stronger on the other side. As the Spartans have taught us, endurance is the key to conquering any challenge. Spartans were always ready for whatever came their way. This principle of preparedness was deeply ingrained in their code of living. It was more than just being battle ready, it was a mindset, a way of life. Stoic philosophy, which heavily influenced Spartan practices, teaches that one should always be prepared for change, for adversity, for the unexpected turns life can take. In the modern world, this principle is just as relevant. We might not be preparing for battle, but we face our own challenges and uncertainties financial crises, health issues, career changes. These are the battles of our time. And just as the Spartans did, we can arm ourselves with preparedness. By anticipating change and preparing for it, we can navigate life's challenges with greater confidence and resilience. So take a leaf out of the Spartan book, stay alert, stay ready, and embrace the stoic principle of preparedness. Because as we've learned from the Spartans, preparedness is the best defense against life's uncertainties. Resilience was the cornerstone of the Spartan way of life. In the face of adversity, Spartans were taught to stand tall, to endure, to persevere. From a young age, they were conditioned to withstand physical pain, mental anguish, and the harshest of elements. This resilience was not born out of brute strength alone, but from the Stoic philosophy that underpinned their society. Stoics believed that we cannot control the world around us, only our reactions to it. Thus, Spartans learned to take in stride the blows of fate, to remain unyielding in the face of hardship. In the modern world, this Spartan resilience holds immense value. From personal setbacks to global crises, resilience enables us to navigate life's tumultuous seas. It empowers us to face our fears, to overcome our obstacles, to rise from our falls. For resilience is not just about surviving, but thriving. The Spartan way of life may seem extreme to us, but it offers timeless lessons in discipline, resilience, and personal growth. They embraced discomfort, not for the sake of suffering, but to forge a stronger self. Mastery over self was paramount, achieved through rigorous physical training and mental fortitude. They lived minimally, knowing that excess can lead to complacency. The Spartans valued community, understanding that we are stronger together. Duty and honor were not mere words, but a way of life that instilled a sense of purpose. Endurance was their mantra, preparing them for the unpredictability of life. 
and above all, they were resilient, always ready to rise from the ashes of defeat. These 10 practices, underpinned by the Stoic philosophy, made the Spartans more than just warriors. They were philosophers in armor, their legacy not defined by their battles, but by their principles. The Spartan legacy lives on, not in battles or wars, but in the hearts and minds of those who strive for discipline, resilience, and personal growth.